Welcome, beloved, to the Prophetic Oasis. I'm Linda Carroll from the Big Island, and Karen Welsh and I welcome you, and we collaborate using our gifts to bring you spiritual truth, to bring you prophetic words, revelations, treasures, and nuggets. We bring you soaking sessions and we contrast the desert seasons and places with the oasis, that miracle place, that secret place where love abides, where hope abides. And we love to have you share Today we'll be doing soaking session number 28, abiding, abiding with the Holy Spirit, abiding with our three in one God, learning how to become more intimate and running to him often during turbulent times. We love you, beloved, and we encourage you to grow, mature in your spiritual walk, taking it seriously to receive that peace that passes all understanding, that shalom peace. So beloved, join us as we walk you through how to soak in your home, how to run to that quiet place. And we encourage you, if you are struggling with trauma or any type of attack or health challenge or recovery process, to play the whole list while you sleep. We believe in having worship and the word playing in our homes, that we saturate our home, our shelter with the word of God, with his sweet presence, that shalom peace that makes no sense to the world, but it brings us into that fullness of hearing and abiding of knowing his voice and his promptings. So beloved, we love you. We bless you. We're here because the Lord has anointed us to bring good news and to bind up brokenness, torn places and bruises. I'm so thankful for Karen and we just rejoice that she is passionate to use her gifts and her skills and her ear for the Holy Spirit's promptings to take videos, to edit them, and to pair them with the right message or soaking session, and to add background instrumental worship. May this be a gift to you that brings you life and peace May you feel the anointing that we freely release upon every soaking session and audio for your healing restoration and for your blessing. There is nothing more valuable than his sweet peace, his presence that shifts everything. Beloved, we are facilitating and giving you nuggets to apply in your own quiet time, your own soaking times. May you do it often with whoever you share home with or gather friends or neighbors, those who are lovers of Jesus and want to dig in closer to the Lord. We set the area, the stage. We set a clean space where there's no interruption. 
if possible. We silence our devices unless we want to record a prophetic word that is spoken in our soaking sessions. The key is to give God the attention. I will walk you through the different areas that we go through and then we reap the benefits of his presence, of his good favor, of his delight, and his presence is fullness of joy. You'll want to come often once you experience the manifested presence of our almighty God. So Karen and I bless you. We're here soaking with you. Let us turn our attention. Let us be present in his presence. Let us focus. He is the reason that we've gathered. We lay it all down. First, we just let go. We cleanse. We surrender. And then we move into thanksgiving. But first, we let go. Thank you, God. We do our soaking audibly with action, yet vertically. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Karen and I are soaking with you. Lord, forgive us. We're going to lay it down. We're not going to wrestle. We're not going to wrestle. We let go. We want you to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We let go. Forgive us for self-reliant plans, ways that we can preserve our future. Lord, our legacy is in you. Our breath is a gift from you. Every heartbeat is from you. We thank you, Lord. We surrender all. Thank you, Lord. We want to abide with you, to abide under the shelter of your wings, to be able to say, it is well with our soul. We let go all of the confusion, all of the flesh emotions. We know there are trials on every side. We want to declare that it is well with our soul. Yes, the desert may be many contrasting emotions. We let it go, Lord. We let go of judging, of criticizing, of negativity, oh God. Expose our thinking, Lord God. We want to align as we come into this soaking session. We want nothing of our flesh, our soul, man, to interfere. <laughs> Join me, beloved, as we let go, as we release any paralysis, any destructive thoughts, your desert might be deception. It might be weighted down or heaviness. There may be a war for a domination of things that are not of God at all. Lord, we let go. We cast our cares. We won't shoulder a burden that's not ours to carry. We trust you, Lord. 
We want to create an atmosphere for you to come, for you to feel welcome, for you to join us, for you to tangibly encounter us as we're learning more about you, as we audibly agree and say, yes, Lord. We let go the fretting, the weariness, the unanswered prayers, the opposition to our prayers. We let that go, Lord. Whew. You are greater. Any rebellion in our heart, Lord, we let that go. Let you wash over us. Would you wash over us? Would you cleanse that deception, those mind games, destructive thinking, oh God, shouldering a burden of family members, Lord God, only you alone can heal. Only you alone, God, can change hearts, Lord God. Let us not try to be God. Lord God, cleanse us from the self, the things that in our doing we think we can change things. Ultimately, we give you all the praise. You are all powerful. In you, there is harmony at the oasis. It's a real peace, oh God. We let go our guardedness, the walls that we've put around those areas of our past, oh God. Forgive us, Lord, for trying to hide anything from you, oh God, or by our power and strength. Thank you, Lord, that it's not by our might. It is by your spirit, oh God. Hmm. We welcome you. We welcome you. And now we thank you. We give thanksgiving. We're so thankful. We're thankful, God. We're grateful. Karen and I are so blessed as we watch your hand. We watch your provision. We covet your beautiful word. We want to fall more in love with you and your goodness and the immensity of your power as we look at the night sky, Lord God, as we marvel at your handiwork living on the big island, as we marvel at the flowers that you've given us, the tropical fruits and the tropical foods and the abundance of your goodness, the ocean waves and the sounds and the sights that are so glorious, Lord God. You, O oh God, are glorious and we want to be abiding in you, O oh God, to be welcome in your presence that nothing stands in the way of our closeness. We want to give you our whole heart, a surrender. We surrender all. We're so grateful for the trade winds that remind us of your breath as you breathe life unto us. Even now, as our hope is only in you, Jesus, that we can obey you, that we can actively worship you like little children, O oh God, that we can raise our hands, that we can shout and dance, that we can twirl, that we can cheer one another on that we can rejoice and again rejoice, going back to the joy 
of our salvation. We thank you for our salvation, that moment in time when you captivated our spirit, when you drew us and woo us to a decision, a declaration of receiving Jesus Christ as our Savior. Thank you, Lord. For me, it was vacation Bible school. Lord, I thank you for vacation Bible schools and church camps and family camps and those times set aside to retreat and to get away. Those moments to just be still. Thank you, Lord, that the oasis, the secret place, is being still. It's worshiping, adoring you, being invited to come into your courts. Oh, God, even now, you're soothing, you're wooing, you're calming the storm. You're welcoming us into the fold. Thank you, Lord. You are fully persuading us, O oh God, to rest in you. You've opened the gates. Beloved, the kingdom key is oiling. The oil, the oils of joy of gladness. We have so much to thank him for. In every lack and difficulty, there is a praise. No storm can shake our inmost girding, our faith in him. We will worship, we will enter the courts, with praise. Beloved, he delights for you to praise him. So in our soaking, we praise him in new ways. We use our hands to worship him. We audibly tell him that we love him, that we are fully persuaded that we want to be his lover. His presence will give us that perfect peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He said he would not leave us alone. Thank you, Lord, for Holy Spirit, for your peace. You're so worthy. Beloved, we move into our adoration, our welcoming, our declaring the character of our God. You are worthy, altogether worthy. There's been a lifting of a heaviness. Receive that with us, that lifting, that lifting of that heavy weight. Whew. His yoke is easy. His burden is very light. He loves us. He desires for us to abide in him to be a peacemaker, a child of God, a childlike heart and love, not ashamed. Jesus, we are not ashamed to be called by your name, Jesus. We want to be a source of encouragement. We are here seeking you adoring you. We want to have our whole heart saturated by you. 
thank you for your presence that has saturated us today. Thank you, Lord. His spirit has come to rest upon us as we're turning to him. Thank you, God. It's a divine peace that we need. We always ask you, God, to bring heaven to earth, a peace resting upon each household, upon each one that is listening and soaking today, abiding with you, abiding under the shadow of the Lord Most High. We feel so privileged, Lord. You fulfill us, O oh God. <laughs> we delight. We declare your character. Just call it out, beloved. It's vertical. Your love affair with the Lord your desire to know him deeper, closer, to have an understanding of what you read in his word. A supernatural peace is resting. It's coming. It's here. It's tangible. It's like a blanket wrapped around each one. It's an abiding, for we abide in him, and he abides in us. Jesus abides in the Father. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Peace like a river attendeth my soul. We declare we love you. The Lord loves you and he's wooing us. How beautiful that he calms the storm. Thank you, Lord. We're greedy for your benefits, oh God the benefits of intentionally gathering and setting aside this time, expectant for you to come, expectant for your spirit to breathe on us. You mend the brokenness. Thank you, Lord. We are all your children. Thank you, Lord. We're in agreement with heaven to release any wicked way that you may find in us, O oh God. We desire to prosper our soul, to be whole. Thank you, Lord, that we are your child. We are your children. Who we want you to be our life our light. <laughs> Beloved God is with us. He inhabits the praises of his children. Thank you, Lord, for dwelling in our worship. He dwells, he loves for us to vertically, actively, audibly declare the strength and courage, the sure foundation. Who? There's power in the name of Jesus. We're thanking you for you, Jesus, Yeshua. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you for your blood. Oof. 
how precious your blood that healed us. Your justice, your word that is truth. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for being our abiding one that we are invited to be in you and you are in the Father. Thank you, Lord. Keep working in us, God. You are all powerful. You are beautiful in all your ways. Thank you for your help, O oh God. Thank you for your help, O oh God. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. Dear friends, let us soak and let us continue to love one another. For love comes from God. And anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God. For God is love. Thank you, Lord, for showing us how much you loved us by sending your only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life in you. Thank you, Lord, for love. We want to love you with our whole heart. Lord, love has no fear, O oh God, because perfect love expels all fear. As we lay down and we cleanse and we surrender, God, we release anything related to fear. Thank you, Lord. Your word says if we are afraid, it is not for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced your perfect love. We love each other because you first loved us. Let us love you and love a Christian brother or sister. Let us continue to soak, to adore you, to worship you, to learn about love. God, we love for your presence to come, to abide in you. We put our trust in your love, oh God. You've shown us how much you love us, that you gave your life for us, Lord God. Help us to abide and to love one another. Thank you, Lord, to give thanks in all circumstances. Thanking you in the difficulties, Lord. Thanking you where it doesn't look good, when it looks dark. God, for this is your will that we give you thanks. Even when our progress seems slow to us, so oh God, even when we want to put things in order and we're facing roadblocks and detours and obstacles in the way, we thank you. We want to thank you, God, because you're the one that shifts the atmosphere. You are the one that gave us help. You gave us your armor. You gave us your promises and the beauty of your word when we experience failure and ashes. Oh God, we love you for that. Oh God, thank you, Lord. We're abiding in you. We're fully persuaded. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We love you. 
We want to love one another with an unselfish concern. Thank you, Lord, that when we love, you abide in us, oh God. Thank you for love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you that your love in us, oh God, is a love that abides in us and it's complete and it's perfected in us, oh God. So we rejoice, we shout out loud, we dance, we sing, we say how good you are. We need you. We trust you. <laughs> you are our great defense. And we need you in troubled times, in good times, in times where the foundation seems sinking and shifting like sinking sand. We hold on to you. We bless you. Thank you that you're resting upon us, that you've released a divine peace today, a divine rescue, a divine love, a deeper love, a love to come to that daily time, that quiet time, that secret place time, a desire for purity, a desire for obedience, a desire where our hearts are broken in disobedience. If we are disobedient and we know that you desire for us to take higher ground in that area. Thank you, Lord, for the harmony of real peace when we come often to the secret place, to soaking sessions, to quiet time. We want to be obedient. Holy, holy, holy. When darkness surrounds us, we declare your beauty, your glory. Beloved, we will be more than conquerors through our faith in Christ Jesus. Stirring up our faith right now by declaring our adoration, declaring our God's goodness. Karen and I release anointing to you. We release anointing. We're touching and releasing anointing over this recording as you listen. The anointing will break the chains the yoke in your life, pushing back darkness. And we release alignment. We speak alignment into your life, your priorities, your thinking that you be saturated with the truth of the word of God, the revelation, the spirit of counsel, for those decisions, that you hear his voice, that you experience his presence, his anointing. Thank you, Jesus, for every opportunity to encounter you, to welcome you, to lay down all of the burdens and cares to oil the hinges on the gates. Beloved, if you've not already thanked him out loud for many things, 
for the past or the good times or memories or family or the birth of a new baby in the family, a mission, an opportunity to give. Keep oiling those hinges for that opens the gate. We want the gate open at all times so that we can come into his courts with our worship and praise. Are you wanting a retreat? Then let us have a oil retreat of thanksgiving, of praise. Watch everything change when we speak life, when we release anointing, when we take authority and we speak healing. For you are the great physician, Jesus, and by your blood, your stripes taken, we are healed. Thank you, dear Lord, as we soak and we receive that gift. We unwrap the gifts that are given. Beloved gifts have to be unwrapped, opened, received. Karen and I release anointing. We see the Lord giving you gifts, but they're still wrapped. May he accelerate and multiply your spiritual gifts and understanding. And as you receive them, unwrapping them, educating yourself in the Holy Scriptures, coming often, dedicating your life to your family mission and beyond. Thank you, Lord. He commanded us to be strong of a good courage. Yes, the world may be in chaos, but he has overcome and he is mighty. And in the twinkling of an eye, he moves every mountain, every opposition. Until his return, we will work we will go to nations. We will encourage you. We will be alert and vigilant in his word, abiding in his love, releasing good news, binding up brokenness, encouraging obedience. We declare sweet sleep to those of you who have been attacked with trauma and are facing difficulties of eviction, financial instability, even hunger. We declare your sweet, miraculous sleep and presence, anointing that is supernatural that breaks the yoke of bondage in your life and sets your captivity free. Today we have opened prison doors. Receive it, beloved. Even in what we do not understand, God's presence, his love that says, no, she's mine, no, He's mine. We trust you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Praise him. Thank you, Karen, for using your gifts and for agreeing with me as touching these recordings. For we're expectant of supernatural comments and responses. For we declare your life in alignment and that you be healed and matured in Christ Jesus. From the Big Island, please share the prophetic oasis and bless it with us as we bless our Savior Jesus. <laughs> we love you so much. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs>